So, hey guys, I'm going to try to make this video shorter because I don't want to make no 20 minute video on a message all the time. <laughs> but I don't want to feel like I'm wasting people's times, time if that's even a way to say it. Um, so anyway, I was talking about in the last video, if I decide to post that one, if not this one, who knows, but I was talking about black sheeps and why you felt like you never did fit in, in your family is because I, and many other people believe, you know, I think it's more than just believing, but it is a reality um, that that is your calling, you know, that is your calling and that is where, who you are supposed to be. You're not supposed to be like everyone else. You're not supposed to be like average, an average Joe or an average Jane. You're here to set something different in this world, maybe in just your reality and just set different standards than what we're used to seeing you know you're not supposed to follow the crowd and it's hard sometimes and it's lonely and it's sad because you feel like like myself people think just because I may look like a a regular girl who probably is living a regular life I'm in many ways I'm not you know and you know most of us black sheep, we probably, not all of us, but some of us, it gets so bad, not really bad necessarily, but it gets so intense to the point where we've always been loners. We've always felt like loners our whole lives. Um, we've probably even been single most of our whole life, you know, and we probably just never really felt like we can really connect to another human being when it comes to what we want in our heart, you know, in society or in the matrix, they train people on what love and what lust should be, lust should be. Unfortunately, lust is a bigger thing and much more important to some people in society. Don't get me wrong. I love sexual liberation if it's done correctly and done consensually and done with two people who are being real to each other and you know where I'm going with that but the whole point is you know I love being comfortable in my own skin you know I'm very comfortable with my sexuality so I'm not necessarily saying that it's wrong to really discover yourself in certain ways it depends on what it is, you know, because too much of anything can be a bad thing. But, you know, what I'm saying is that maybe even too much, you know, loving somebody too much can be a bad thing. You know, giving so much love to somebody who probably doesn't even deserve it. But really, we live in a sick, demented reality sometimes where people really just, I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but hollow and fragmented yes we do live in a sick sad world but at the same time we live in a beautiful world you live in both you know ways so you know there's a dimension you know the hell dimension and the heaven dimension you know the fifth dimension and the third dimension so you know it's the way that you know most people want to perceive the reality depending on what's going on you know i think it's why is to have you know look at both look at both and see where your intuition is trying to guide you on how to perceive the way you should live healthy in a healthy manner in your reality instead of just being a fake happy or you know always just complaining and being ungrateful like just have a sense of you know, balance in your life. But that's just me, or at least that's what my cards have been trying to teach me. So, 
you know, as a black sheep, you know, our love lives, Not this may not apply to everyone, but, you know, as a black sheep, our love lives have probably not even have been normal. We probably didn't date like every kid in school or every high school or every middle schooler or every kid in elementary school. We probably didn't understand why people were doing stuff like that when we wanted to get the fuck out of class and not be there. Um, we probably did have friends, but our friends were probably weird like us. They were probably bullied or made fun of for just being going against the ground grain because they, you know, kids probably didn't care. I mean, us kids like us didn't probably care too much about being popular. And if we did care about being popular, we couldn't because everyone did not accept us, you know, no matter how many times we try to be with the cool kids or the popular kids. It was like, maybe we did get chances to to even hang out with them a couple times or be even with them, but it still didn't matter. It still didn't matter. And you know, like that's like my experience as a black sheep in school and in, in society you probably didn't even get the jokes of your co-workers. You probably didn't understand why people laughed at such things that you would never laugh at. People would do such things or say such things or act on such ways that you knew in your heart that you would not even consider humane sometimes. Um, so... What I am saying, the whole point, this is just examples. Everybody has lived their own story in different ways as a black sheep. But, you know, one thing I do notice with black sheep is that we tend to um, not fit in just at all. You know, especially in school, we feel indoctrinated. We feel, or not indoctrinated, yeah, we can. Um, and I think that's our soul's calling. That's our soul telling us, like, there's a reason why, you know, a lot of us didn't want to always deal with in our head. You know, we probably felt like it was a crappy school system. I'm not saying that, like I said last time, you know, I'm not saying that all things in the education system is horrible, you know, because if it was, then we wouldn't learn how to speak. We wouldn't learn how to read. We wouldn't learn how to be inspired by actual good teachers, you know? There was, yeah, you know, there are good teachers who actually want us to live a purpose, you know? So, yeah, like, and I've experienced bad teachers, but later down in college. But that's another story for another time. Um, anyway, though, the whole point is, is that um, also with your family members, you probably went through a lot of fights. You probably got made fun of by your siblings, by talking about topics that you knew that they would not understand. You knew that only you and a few select would understand. You would talk about things that they would never believe ever because it's not in their reality to, I guess, if you want to say that. You almost felt like you questioned God, the universe, spirit. Why is it that everybody else gets to be this way or gets to have this or have that? And you just, no matter what you do, you dress like everybody else, you talk like everybody else, you still don't fit in. And it's not just the physical appearance, but it's your spirit, you know? It's your essence. It's your spiritual essence that is different. So you can probably blend in. The more you try to blend in, the more you stick out, you know? And, and a lot of us, I think, some of us are, you know, you know, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. And... A lot of us, you know, carry, maybe some of us, black sheep, we just carry a certain light. You know, we can carry a certain light. We can, and we don't even know. We don't even know the animals and the children, you know, that's another thing. You can also be drawn, children can be drawn to you. Animals can be drawn to you. 
um, you can be into the occult. Um, you can probably, even if it's not that, you know, like you can just do something that is like different, you know, like you don't conform to what the church says. You still be, may be a believer, but you have a unique relationship with God. You may not, you know, be someone who believes that everything the preacher is saying is everything that God is saying. I'm not saying that those people are wrong. I'm just saying that you have more of an open mind. You know, you have more of an intuitive understanding that there are secrets of the universe. Not that you're better. It's just that you understand that life is too bizarre. It's too mysterious to just say that this is the way that life is and suck it up and that's it. And you're like, no, you feel like you question reality. You feel like there's more to living life than to just be a slave to society. You've always probably felt that way. Um, like you just always question things when you, you look up into the stars. You wonder if there's other life forms, other beings. Um, I was thinking about that and that's probably because that's them, the other beings on the other side, you know, talking to you, you know, above the sky, you know, over the stars. Um, a lot of us are star seeds. Um, so we have some sort of angelic or angel or alien DNA. So you were cut that way for a purpose because you were the one who was supposed to be the different one in your family. You were the one who was supposed to be maybe in a, in a house full of Jehovah's Witnesses. You became the only witch, you know, or in a house, you know, full of people who were racist. You became the one who traveled the world and you know, probably married someone else out of your race and started a big movement. I don't know. But you did something different. Or you're starting to. Or you're going to. You know, and the whole point, that's what makes a black sheep different from the family. That's I'm just using those as, using those as examples. So, you know... There's many times where I think black sheep don't even know that they're breaking generational curses in their families just by doing those things. Just by, you know, following a different spiritual path and knowing that it's right for you. And knowing that it's not wrong. You know, knowing that you're not going to go to hell just because you're going to be a witch. You're not going to go, God's not going to hate you because you understand the secrets of the universe a little bit more than maybe your grandfather who was a pastor for 30 years. I'm not saying that, you know, that's always the truth. You know, you always learn from everyone. Don't get me wrong. Even the people who are asleep because technically we're not really fully awake really until we move on to the afterlife. You know, we all learn from everyone, you know. Even the people that are asleep, you know, they have some knowledge. They have some wisdom. And the ones who are awake, of course, you know, but you put it all together like pieces of a puzzle. And I feel like, yeah, that is, you know, and the reason why is that is because you were meant to be different. You were, you were, God called you to be different. You were chosen to be that way. And... Uh, a lot of people who are black sheep even believe that they were the chosen. You know, they are the chosen people of this, especially with what's going on now. You know, a lot of those people who consider themselves the chosen, 
they a lot of them have been the black sheep of their family a lot of them have been told that they were crazy a lot of them have been told that they needed to go see a psychiatrist a lot of them have been told that they needed to follow this path they need to be a doctor a lawyer uh whatever but they wanted to pr pursue their self as a uh, as a writer music writer or you know maybe building their own business to be a healer for you know maybe i don't know it depends maybe do being a reiki master being someone like the next dr sabi you know it depends on what it is you know um instead of just you know feeling like you have to be like this big shot for your family and you feel like god is telling you to go that way and your parents are telling you to go that way right but whatever you like i said whatever you believe in god got us you know so chosen people um are usually the black sheep so I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. It doesn't really matter because I I'm just gonna post this one, and um, yeah. So that is why you don't fit in, you know, in society or in your family. It's because you were born to be different, you know. No matter how many times you fit in, you stick out more, and I feel like the universe is doing that on purpose, you know. Doing that on purpose to tell you something. So, yeah. I want to say... I know my beanie thing is like a little off. But I want to say blessed be. And... Yeah, please subscribe. And... You know, share my channel. Do it all. And once again, take care.